Welcome back. We have more adoptable pets. This is Rizzy and uh, Miniature Pincher. Ski, tell us more about this dainty little lady. Well, this little three-year-old lady came in as a stray, and she is just so good. You can see she's just totally motivated by the treat in my hand. She's very well behaved. She's got manners. If you're looking for that older dog and a, a smaller, compact body that's still going to be able to sit in your lap and go on trips with you and ride in that car seat and travel the, travel the country with you, then Rizzy's going to be just that girl. She'll notify you if someone comes to the door. Typical of Miniature Pincher behavior. Well, any dog, really. But she's really very laid back, good with other cats, good with kids. So bring the family down, do an intro, and see if Rizzy is the right match for you. Well, the heavy monsoon rains will surely come, and the flooding water brings many toads and frogs to the surface. But be on the lookout for these little amphibians that uh, look like this. They are called the Snorin Desert Toad or Colorado Toad, and they are armed with a toxic self-defense mechanism neurotoxins that will trigger an instant and awfully deadly reaction to a curious pet who gets too close. So if you notice your dog displaying any of these signs, make sure that you take them to a vet immediately. Well, believe it or not, <laughs> all of these puppies are related. They came from the same mother. Very diverse litter they are, Perry. Right, Ashley. You know, it's hard to believe they are all from the same litter. I have the two huge guys, the group, the six pounders. Uh, this is a Butternut and Hunter, and then the little ones over here are three pounds, but they are all siblings. You know, dogs can have different fathers and so in litters. So we're thinking that uh, we know that mom was a shepherd mix and dad, well, maybe Chihuahua and maybe there's a terrier in there somewhere too. These guys are a blast. They're very, very cute. Puppies are a lot of work. Use your head, not your your heart when you're getting these little guys, but they're going to be very, really fun. Uh, it's the six guys here, right here. We have, let's see if I can remember all their names. We have Butternut, Hunter, Paisley, Cricket, Luna, and Gigi. <laughs> all right, well, we wrap up the show today with our long-eared friend, and Lisa's hanging out with Calvin, the Holland Lop Rabbit. What a cutie, Lisa. Yeah, Holland Lop Rabbits originated in the Netherlands, and obviously they're called Lop because their ears flop down, and that's normal for this breed. They are a social breed of rabbits, and they're densely coated. If you want to just, if you adopt a lot bunny, you should just brush them once a day, maybe twice a day. The more you brush, but believe it or not, the less they shed. So here is going to be a great first pet, and 70% of his diet should be a good high-quality hay, and the other 30%, like you see here, treats, veggies, greens, things like that. But Calvin's very hand-tamed, so anybody that wants to come down and litter box train their bunny, he's a wonderful first pet for someone. Well, for more information about the pets on today's show, visit azhumane.org forward slash pets on parade. Remember, it is extremely hot outside. Keep your pets indoors, limit activities, and keep your pets safe this summer. We'll be back next week with more adoptable pets. Thanks for joining us. Have a great weekend.